inflate because they're presuming a smaller return on investment. Many people feel that 7% is still way too high. In fact, over the last 10 years in which um, the economy has been in a bull market, they've realized somewhere in the neighborhood of 5.6% return on their investments. Why is this important? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. Um, the operating assumption that CalPERS um, sold is that <clears throat> at least 70% of the value of the pensions will be made up by investment returns, and they're falling short. Um, unlike a private pension in which, whoops, we didn't quite make the returns we were expecting, so we're going to lower the amount of the value of the pensions, public pensions are guaranteed. And state law right now indicates that <clears throat> if we were to negotiate a lower pension with our firefighters, we would have to give them something in return for that. Um, so our pensions continue to grow and if we take a look at the percentage return on investment over the last 10 years of a bull market at being less than 7%, which it was, <clears throat> and with the specter of a recession, which is bound to happen sometime soon, what CalPERS does is they put in a, an evaluation of what would happen if the return on investment over a protracted period was 6% rather than 7%. Our liability in that instance, instead of $5.1 million, and this is, by the way, money that has to be paid for by the taxpayers, okay? Instead of $5.1 million, it would be $7.7 .7 million, which is quite a bit more than our annual budget is now and will be in 10 years. Okay, so back to the tables. Um, for all intents and purposes, the last couple of years, um, 2017 CalPERS had a very nice return on investment of about 12 or 13%. Our unfunded liability continued to go up, it did not go down. Last year they had an investment uh, return of about 8%. Again, our liability continued to ratchet up. And the question is why? Well, back in 2007, CalPERS sold a pension plan called the 3 at 50 to the entire state with virtually no um, analysis and um, both the government, the state government, and the governor, Gray Davis, accepted it because CalPERS said it would never, ever touch taxpayer money. It would be self-sustaining. <laughs> Marinwood, which I had said earlier, does not have anything other than no sales tax revenue at all. We are a um, special services district where the taxpayers provide 90% of our income um, granted this 3 at 50 to firefighters here in Marinwood, and that is our problem. The reason that we are um, bringing this up on an annual basis is because our situation is deteriorating, the liability is getting larger every year, and so are the cash payments that CalPERS demands that we pay every year to make up for the shortfall. Right now, in the second table, you can see that um, by 2023, 2024, Marinwood would have to pay $725,000 in cash. This is not, you know, a liability that's going to happen somewhere in the um, in the distant future. This is, these are cash payments that are competing with the funds that we need to run our facilities, our recreation department, our parks department, and pay salaries. So it's becoming a larger issue, and again, this 725,000 is a tacit admission by CalPERS, our investments aren't keeping up. 
and they aren't. So, to make a long story short, um, this is an unsustainable model for this district, and we have approached LAFCO for help in deciding if there is some way that we can um, find a different model to provide. We all know we need firefighters and emergency services people. We just don't need or we cannot um, continue to fund an independent emergency services department and we need to find another model. So we've enlisted LAFCO to look at this and to help us with this um, as the last almost four years have uh, certainly indelibly etched in my mind, nothing happens quickly. This is going to be a long-term process and we're going to need um, support from the community and certainly support from LAFCO and communities and um, departments around us to come up with an equitable solution. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Any questions or comments from the board? Anything from the public, Ron? Yes, I was uh, sitting in this very room at the CSD board meeting when Genevieve Bolding, the business manager in Marinwood, assured the board of directors that they could raise the pension for the firefighters from two and a half at 30 to three percent at 30 because the fund was doing so well that it would not cost Marinwood taxpayers another penny to raise it from two and a half to three. And uh, unfortunately, it's taken a very long time for uh, the public to begin to realize that uh, 3% 30 is unobtainable without sales tax revenue. There's just no way a small district can. Although, if Marinwood would, Marin would, would invest, we, we need uh, to move on, Ron. We yeah, would invest their out. money in my hedge fund, I guarantee I could get Thank to you. 7%. Thank you. All right. Um, Stephen? 